I think we'll see it by the 1st of February. I, I, I think the panic is starting to set in. Um, what are we going to do? Right now at 6, standing firm, neither the president nor Democrats are backing down in the fight over border security. security. And as the longest government shutdown in history now stretches on, federal workers face this reality of missing out on a second paycheck. Food banks all across North Texas say that requests for help are starting to come in. And at the same time, they're pretty concerned the shutdown could bring current clients back as well. Jason Allen in Mansfield tonight, food pantry already seeing the need, we're told. Jason, what's going on there? Yeah, that's right, Doug. In fact, they're getting ready for a federal employee only distribution here at Harvesting International. They're going to do that on Friday. Now, as you can see, they have plenty of inventory for now, and they do in other places too, but there is some concern starting to build that requests could come in fast over the next couple of weeks. Good morning, Tarrant Area Food Bank. How may I help you? The calls coming into the Tarrant Area Food Bank this week were different. People were asking about the process to get food. What was required? A sign this was their first time making such a call. Immediately there was discussion about it. Amy Hebdige told us the food bank activated its emergency response team this week and started reaching out to community agencies to find out if federal workers are starting to look for help. Community Link in Saginaw interviewed their first one Tuesday. And Karen Fuller said they don't know yet how many will follow. Are we going to see them? I don't know. It's on how much money they have in savings, I guess. Complicating things for food banks was the USDA decision to send out SNAP or food stamp benefits early before the shutdown prevented dispersing the money. Meant to last through February, though, there's concern recipients could use up their allotment sooner than that and then turn to food pantries for help. In addition, while government food shipments are still expected this quarter, there's no certainty beyond that, leading to more questions about supplies. What we would have to do is, you know, we would try to procure more and more food. Probably we would give smaller amounts because we would have more families to take care of. Uh, so we're looking at that. People who come here Friday would receive uh, not just canned goods, but also fresh vegetables, uh, meats, an entire turkey. Uh, inventory is strong right now. They are accepting donations, and a lot of charities said they have started receiving calls from people interested in donating as the need starts to rise. Live in Mansfield tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.